Hello, welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this mini peacock. A new little hatchling for a peacock family. I made this one. This is the big peacock. I have a tutorial for him on my channel. He's pretty big. He takes a, a little while to make, but he's really well worth it. And I also have a little baby peacock, but now he's a junior because he's a year old already. He's a little bit smaller than the big one and both are on a single loom and I decided to make an even smaller version. You can see the size difference and you can attach this to a barrette which I attached a little barrette on here so you can wear it in your hair. You can make a little bracelet and attach just a single around make a beautiful bracelet or even a necklace out of this one. He's still a good size and he's on a single loom also. But he's a little bit smaller and easier to make and less time consuming also. I made this one with electric blue bands that glow in the dark and the white glow in the dark also. And the little um, feather fringe on the back glows also. So on my Instagram and my Facebook account, I'm gonna show a picture of this glowing. And this one is just a white peacock with clear in the middle and she came out beautiful and I used um, confetti bands for the end of the feathers and the little top feathers too. So he's pretty easy to make single loom. I'm gonna make this one today with this white on the outside too. This one I didn't make the white but I'm gonna make this one with white so it's gonna be have a blue body and rainbow on the outside and I'm also gonna use metallic bands. These ones are jelly bands. So you can use whatever colors you want for this design. But I'm going to make the rainbow to show you how to do that one. And if you want to put white here, you can do white or clear. Oh, so many color variations. So let's get started. And I'm going to show you first how to make this part of the peacock and what colors we need. And we'll go from there. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to first show you how to make this part of the peacock, the little feather part. There's going to be six total. And the middle part, the little ball part, is going to be yellow. And I have like a neon yellow and a gold. I have, I'm using metallics in this too. Then the next part of the ring is going to be purple. And I'm using a like a jelly purple and like a little um I think this is deep purple and then the outside bands I'm using six total so I'm using pink orange metallic red this is like a jelly um blue and then metallic blue and metallic green and then I'm going to tie it all together and use a regular green this is going to be the same color as your vein. I'm going to call this the vein. So use this as the tying part as the same color as this part. So you can use whatever colors you want and I'm going to show you how to make two of them right now. I already pre-made four of them and this would be a really cool pencil topper too. If we just put pencil topper, you know, put them all on one pencil. That would look so pretty. So I already made four. I'm going to show you how to make two of them. It's your responsibility to make six total, and then you can store it on a pencil or another hook like this one. Okay, so let's get started. And also, in this one, I didn't use any metallics. I just used two yellows for this. So you can, the middle ball part, I'm going to use two bands. So I'm going to use one yellow and one gold. Put it on the hook and wrap it around four times. So this is one, two, three, and four. So it's a ball. Then I'm going to take one of the lighter purple and one of the darker. So this is just two bands again. And this one I used white for the middle part and just the electric blue for the outside. So it's another two bands and just wrap it twice around. So one and two. So it looks like this. Then I'm going to take one of each color and just place them like this. And 
that's the blue. Okay, so I have around six of these. So let's count. Yep, six. You can have five, you can have as however big you want your um, feather. Okay, so I have them on the hook. Then I'm going to take my green, which is going to be my vein, and I'm going to place it on the hook, and then gently slide this, it's going to be tight, on the green in the middle. Then you're going to bring that down, bring it back on the hook like that, and this is one feather. And then if you have your purple coming out, you can maneuver the bands so that the yellow comes out a little bit more. Okay, just like that. So I'm going to place it on my hook to store for later. Okay, so I have five right here. I'm going to make another one. Place that right here. So I'm going to take my two yellows, wrap it around the hook four times. Then I'm going to take my purple, wrap it twice around the yellow, and then I'm going to take the rest of them. And I'm keeping them like in the same order so that they kind of are in the same order on the peacock too. Put them on the hook. Oops, I took my green instead, so let me take the green off. And then I'm going to slide everything on that green. Slide it in the middle. Bring the rest on there. Bring it back on the hook. So it looks like that really pretty. So then I'm going to place it on here so I can use it for later. Okay, so we can uh, rewind this and redo, um, do four more of these. And I'm going to talk more now about the colors I'm choosing and how many for the rainbow part. Okay, so I'm going to have dark blue for the body. And then I'm going to have, I, in the camel pack, there's like a light tan. So I'm having the light tan for the legs and the beak. And that's going to be around eight bands for this. Around eight bands for this. Then I'm going to have a white strip here. So one white, two black for the eyes. And then on the top, I'm going to have three little balls for the um, top feathers. And I'm going to add another little, because this one only has one color here, I'm going to add two colors for this to make it more bigger like this one. So I'm going to have three of the jelly and then three metallic for that part. So, and then the rainbow part. I'm going to use red on the outside. It's going to be four bands of red, then another four bands of orange, then four of the yellow, and then four of the green, then two of the blue, and two of the purple. And that's going to be the inner bands. And I'm going to use regular green for the veins, and that is the peacock. So these are the colors, and if you want to do different colors like these. You can totally do that, but just remind you, the top, the outermost bands are four. And then the inner two are two bands. So you can have those colors. So this is my color layout, and I also have my green on the side. And let's get started. Okay, so we're going to make the out the back of the peacock, the feathers first. And it's pretty easy, and we only have to do like one extension. So we're gonna make one half of it here, and then another half 
and it's going to be tied together. So I'm going to go through the whole tutorial with you. And first we're going to do the veins. We're going to do three veins. And they're going to be six stitches long. And they're all single bands. I'm using the Rainbow Loom Green. Make sure your bands are um, stretchy because they're going to be a single and then you twist it upon itself and then place it on the loom. And it is in staggered position, arrow facing down. So very important for that. So all of these green are going to be single, twist, and then place it on the loom. So make sure yours are stretchy and they're not going to break. So that's two. Here's number three. Number four. Number five. And number six. Okay, so then we're going to do another six here and another six here. And we're just doing single twists, working our way down. Okay, there should be one more. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then we'll go to the left side. He looks really cool in jelly bands, too. The jelly bands are a little thicker. I'm going to get a different, that band didn't work that well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we're going to get our little fringe out. So mine, my top fringe, I'm going to have pink on the top. So when you place them down, make sure um, you want it however, you know, what color you want in the front. If you want rainbow in the front, it just doesn't even matter. But I'm just going to have pink. So we'll place one here. Then we'll get the other one. These are the capping bands now. Place it in the middle. Okay, and then this one. Okay, so I'm going to bring out my color scheme for the rainbow part. And I'm going to use, I'm going to flip it this way. This is my body part. But I'm going to use two of these red. And what I'm going to do, and I do this with the other big peacocks in the other tutorial too, take this green off, just the top one, just like that. Then you're going to place your two red on that pin. Then place the green back on there to secure it. Okay, so it looks like that. Now I'm going to take one of these red and I'm going to place it on here. But I want to take this top green off then I'm going to place the red on the loom. Then I'm going to place the green back on there. So it looks like that. I'm going to do the same thing with the right side. Take the 
the top green off. Get the red, place it on that pin, put that green back on. Okay, and that is your top red. So now we're going to go to orange. Take two orange, place it one from here to here, then the other one from here to here. So it's like an upside down V. Then you're going to take your yellow. Same thing. Then I'm going to take my green. Same thing. Now I have blue and it's just going to be a triangle. It's a single triangle. Then my purple single triangle. So this is the layout for half of the peacock feathers in the back. And now we're gonna start looming and we're only grabbing the green on the bottom, the um, single twist green. So go underneath all of the feathers in the back, grab that single twist green, bring it up, go slowly, bring it back on there. So it's only that single twist see that and then we're going to loom only the green okay so we have one down so we're going to do the same thing here only that single twist the middle's done and now the left side Make sure yours looks like this. And now you can keep place your fingers up here. I'm going to slowly take this off the loom. Make sure everything's off because the little feathers get stuck on the little pin bars. So keep this on the last pin. Okay, so now take your hook, go on the right side, take that, place it on the hook, place this one on the hook, and this one. And take it off the loom. So it looks like this. Now it's all on the hook. We need a double green, or whatever double color you have for the vein, and then we're going to place, slide these on this double green. So we can go one by one. And slide, and then keep it in the middle. Now you can get a C-clip, or 
put it on another hook. You can stretch this out a little bit. It'll stretch out. And this is half of the peacock. And now we're going to make the same one and attach this to this one. And then it'll be a full, full peacock. So I'm going to put this to the side. I'm going to put it to the side like this, but if you're afraid that, you know, this is going to come out, like it's going to just unravel, you can get a pencil or, you know, anything and, um, you know, hook this on. I'll just keep it on here for now. Just keep it safe. Okay, so I have three more of these and we are back to the green. So we're going to do the same thing, placing single, we're just repeating the same step single twist to the green and we're going back to the loom. Six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we'll go in the middle. Okay, now the left side. One more. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we get our little peacock feathers out. And I want to make the pinkish part on the top. These are capping bands. Okay, so now we're going to do the red again. So I'm going to take this green off, this green right here, and I'm going to place my two red. And place my green back on, just like that. Now I'm going to take this green off, take one of the reds, place it on that pen, place the green back on. Okay, same here. Green off, make sure it stays on that pen. Bring it back over there. Put the green back on. Okay, we got the top done. Okay, so now our orange. These are singles. Then my yellow. Then my green. And my 
blue, it's a single triangle, and purple, single triangle. Okay, so now this is the fun part. I'm going to get um, a little C-clip just to secure this. You can do this. I'm not, I don't really need it for mine because I, I know it'll stay. But if you want, you can put your little C-clip here just to hold this so it doesn't um, come apart. Or you can place another band and do a slip knot. But right now, I'm going to have the pink facing up. And I'm going to pull the red out. Pull each one of these bands out. Got the red, the orange, the yellow, the green. And if you're using all clear, like mine, just make sure that you have all of them on here, what I'm going to show you. But it's just a little bit easier to um, not make a mistake if they're different colors. Okay, so we're going to place, we're going to pick up. Once again, we're going to place this on here, but I need that green off of here again. And now I'm going to place um, the red. And then place that green back on the pin. So I took the green off, put the red on, and then placed the green back on the pin. So now we're going to go to the orange and we're just going to place it on that pin. Then the yellow. Then the green. It's going to stretch. The blue. And the purple. Okay, so it looks like this. So you have each color on its the same um, coloration. So now I'm going to loom only the green on the bottom, just like we did before. So we're just going down. Place your finger here so nothing gets off the loom. And we're going to go forward. Just those green single twists. down, grab that green single twist, I'm going slowly because I don't want to make any mistakes, I don't want any bands popping out, one. Okay, so we have our little extension done. So now let's go to the middle. And once again, just the green on the bottom. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Make sure yours looks like that. And now keep your fingers up here so nothing comes off. And we're slowly going to take it off the loom with a lot of bands. And remember these, you know, the bands get, um, sometimes they get caught. Okay, 
So I'm going to keep it like this, and I'm going to just take the left side first. Make sure you do this because it will help you putting it back. We have to put this on that double that's right over here. So let's start on the left side. I'll, I'll just take it a little bit easier. Take that off the last bit. Okay, so it looks like this. Take your hook, place it through that left one, then the right, then the middle, then the last. Okay, so it's all on the hook now. Now, I, I have, if you have this on a C-clip, take the C-clip off and place your finger through this loop at the end. And we want to string it all on that double that we have right here. So just like before, just one by one, string it on there. And put it back on the hook. Let's put it on another hook just to hold it or a pencil. And this is your finished piece. And you can stretch it out and you can see the rainbow now. It looks beautiful. And you're going to see the bottom goes flat on the bottom, too. So there's some waves in here, too. I really love the waves. So this is what it looks like. Okay. So if you're making this one, it'll look like this. Or if you're just using different colors, it'll look like this. So we have the, the hard part is done. Okay, so we're going to set this aside, and we're going to make the body now. Bodies is really easy. I'm going to use the blue and the tan, and these um, two different shades of blue for the little feathers on the top, black for the eyes, and a single white, because I'm going to put white over here. Okay, so right now I'm going to make the body, and I'm going to make the blue. You can use whatever colors you want for the body also. And it's going to be double bands. And we're going to start, it's arrow facing down again, staggered position. Start at the top from this pin to this pin. Then another double. And then we're going to do two stitches for the length of the head. And they're all doubles. So one, two. Now the side of the head is going to be a big stretch. Just like that. And then another one. Okay, and then we're going to place the, the neck is going to be a double. And the length of the body is going to be two stitches. So this is the neck, that's one. This is the body, one and two. So basically three total. This side of the body, we're going to start at this pin. So here's that neck, and then we're going to start right here. Go to the right. Okay, and two stitches right here. Then we're going to go on the left side. And then another stitch here. Okay, so this is the basic layout. And now we're going to have some fun and we're going to place the tail as the capping band. So. I want my pink to be in the background. So I'm going to place it actually upside down and place it on these two pins. 
because I'm gonna, these are going to be the capping bands. And then when we take it off the loom, he's going to have a long tail. And I'm going to flip it over, and then his face is going to be here. So I'm going to place... So if you have, like, you know, or if you just have rainbow and you don't really care, you can just put whatever, you know, whatever side. But if you want, you just put it backwards. Okay, so we're going to take the end, and I'm going to place it on this pin. this guy <laughs> so be careful too here he is okay I found him so we're gonna place that right on that pin and then we're gonna place the other end on this pin and then we're going to bring it underneath so it looks like this. Okay, so that big double band is one's here and one's here. So then I'm going to take a blue single twist and then I'm going to place it right as a triangle. Okay, so this is a single twist triangle right here. Okay, so let's make the beak, let, let's make the legs right now. The legs, I'm, I made them a little small to com compare to the other peacocks that I have. It's going to be a single of the tan wrapped three times. Then another single twist. Place it on the hook just like that. Another single twist. Okay, and then we're going to place it on these, this pin right here. Okay, so that's one leg. And then we're going to make another one for the other side. So it's one, two, three single twist another single twist and we're going to place it right here okay now we're going to make the beat the beak is going to be two of the tan. It's going to be a single wrap four times. Four times around. Let me show you again. So one, two, three, and four. Then a single twist. Slide that on there. Bring it back on the hook. Take a blue. And then we're going to place the beak right in this little area underneath this pen and place the little loops on the top right pen and the top left pen. Bring that beak down so it sits right there. Okay, now the eyes. Making two black eyes, so four times around. You can do figure eight and then wrap again. Same thing. Take another blue. Slide the eyes on there. And we're just going, oh, and also one more thing. That has to be a single twist. So let's do this again. It's going to be a black. Do figure eight. And then wrap again, or wrap the eight, you know, the four times. Make your eight again. So instead of just one band here, because he's got a small head, I need to make a single twist for this one. So single, 
twist it, then you place the eyes. If you do the other way, you're going to have like an excess, like a little slack in the back of the head, like too much band in the back of the head, so this makes it more neat. And I'm going to place on these two pins again. can separate the eyes. Just like that. Okay, so this is what your layout looks like. I'm going to be using a white band to make this white part right here. So I'm going to do that after. So I'll show you how to do this right now. We're just going to loop forward. I'm going to start on the right side. I'm only looping the blue. It's one. And number two. Bring it to the neck. Now I'm going to loop the left side. to the neck. Okay, so now I have my um, band right here, that single twist right here, and I have my band right here that I want to take. So I'm going to go underneath, grab that blue band, and I'm just going to go forward. So it looks like that. So it's hugging this band right here. And I'm going to go another one forward. And now I have my neck area. Okay, my next band is this left one. Okay, we're going to stop right there. Then we're going to do the right one. I want to bring my no, my little beak out. It's getting stuck there. Okay, so it looks like this. Now, if you want to have this white here, and you don't have to, if you don't want to add the white, it'll just be all blue. You're going to take a single white, place it right across. Push these down. Then I'm going to take this white with the hook, bring it underneath the beak. So it looks like that. So I placed it across, single white, then I brought it down underneath the beak. So now I want to loom the top left, and this will keep the white secure. Then my right blue. And now my middle. I have two bands here. One here and one here. Don't forget these bands. We're going to bring it over the beak, just like this. And then there's another band right in here. It's the blue. For in between the eyes. Okay, and that is the peacock layout. So now I'm going to make the little um, slip knots, but I'm going to make it with these. So I'm going to use my light blue, my metallic. I'm going to make three of them. So it's going to be a, the lighter blue, wrap it around four times. Then you take your little metallic or whatever color you want to use, wrap it twice. Then I'm going to take my darker blue, slide these on, and make a slip knot. So it looks like this. 
So it's a single band wrapped four times, and then the blue with a slip knot, just like that. So I'm going to make another one. With this one, I use white bands, and the outside were the um, confetti. And same with this one. Okay, four times. Then twice. And then um, you slide it on this one. I'm going to make a slip knot. It looks like that. And one more. Four times. Then a double. You know, wrap twice. A single wrap twice. And then slide them on here. Okay, slip knot. And we have four, three. So bring them together. And this slip knot's going to be a little bit different. You can place them all on your finger. Place your hook right through the middle. Bring all three on the hook. Oops, he went flying. Bring all three on the hook. Bring it through, bring it in the middle of the head, and what you're going to do is there's this circle right here, a hole. You want to put these three um, bunches through the hole. So I'm going to just push them right through this hole. Okay, so that created the slip knot, pull, and now you have like the little fringe on the top. How cute is that? So now we can take it off the loom. I'm going to take this part first, just bring it up. And remember that you can get stuck on the pin bars. This is thick over here. So be careful not to break anything. Be very careful. Okay, the beak, I want the beak out so we don't lose it. Okay, now the head. Okay, no more loom. Okay, so now you can see the white came out. I want to bring his eyes out. Sometimes the eyes can be hidden. He came out really cute. Bring out the beak. We have the cute white on the side of the head. And then if you don't like the white, you can snip off the little white and it'll be fine. So bring the legs forward. And now we have this beautiful tail. And you can, it looks like this, right? So bend it like this. And now you have a beautiful peacock. And you can stretch out the back again. And we have three veins coming up and three veins coming up. So the middle will be right here. And mine sits pretty well just by itself. And this one did really good too. This one, he actually needed a little bit of help. And I secured a... Um, band in the back. So what you can do is you can do a C-clip and you can attach a C-clip here and a C-clip here to hold him down or you can just take a blue band and remember it's the middle part is right here in the rainbow part and you can go in, the, in any band in the back of the head place it on the hook just like that 
bring the back, secure that, bring it through, and bring that blue right through in the back, and that will secure it too. And you can make a little um, slip knot, and that'll tie it to the back of the rainbow. So this is your peacock. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I really love how he came out. He is super adorable. Just play around with the bands. Some are a little longer than the others. But he came out gorgeous. And then I like to show the yellow. So sometimes the purple can over can go on top of the yellow. So you can just play around with this so it looks the way that you want and just move the bands around so this is the peacock and this is with the white this is without this is the glow and dark and this is all white so and then if you want to make the big boys i have the tutorial for the big daddy right here he's on my channel and the baby peacock so i'm going to name this one hatchling this is baby and this is the the big daddy. So each one is beautiful in its own right. You can make any different color combinations. And if you want to make put a, attach a clip to it, you can attach a clip and wear it in your hair. Make a bracelet, necklace, anything you'd like. So I hope you like this tutorial. I know I love this bird. And I hope you do too. Okay, please subscribe. We'll see you soon. Bye. Tear and another six here. And we're just doing single twists, working our way down. Okay, there should be one more. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then we'll go to the left side. He looks really cool in jelly bands, too. The jelly bands are a little thicker. Let me get a different, that band didn't work that well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we're going to get our little fringe out. So mine, my top fringe, I'm going to have pink on the top. So when you place them down, make sure um, you want it however, you know, what color you want in the front. If you want rainbow in the front, it just doesn't even matter. But I'm just going to have pink. So we'll place one here. Then we'll get the other one. These are the capping bands now. Place in the middle. Okay, and then this one. So I'm going to bring out my color scheme for the rainbow part, and I'm going to use, I'm going to flip it this way. This is my body part, but I'm going to use two of these red, and what I'm going to do, and I do this with the other big peacocks in the other tutorial too, take this green off, just the top one, just like that. Then you're going to place your two red on that pin. 
then place the green back on there to secure it. Okay, so it looks like that. Now I'm going to take one of these red and I'm going to place it on here. But I want to take this top green off, then I'm going to place the red on the loom, then I'm going to place the green back on there. So it looks like that. I'm going to do the same thing with the right side. Hello, welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this mini peacock. A new little hatchling for a peacock family. I made this one. This is the big peacock. I have a tutorial for him on my channel. He's pretty big. He takes a, a little while to make, but he's really well worth it. And I also have a little baby peacock, but now he's a junior because he's a year old already. He's a little bit smaller than the big one, and both are on a single loom. And I decided to make an even smaller version. You can see the size difference. And you can attach this to a barrette, which I attached a little barrette on here so you can wear it in your hair. You can make a little bracelet and attach just a single around, make a beautiful bracelet or even a necklace out of this one. He's still a good size and he's on a single loom also. But he's a little bit smaller and easier to make and less time consuming also. I made this one with electric blue bands that glow in the dark and the white glow in the dark also and the little um, feather fringe on the back glows also. So on my Instagram and my Facebook account, I'm going to show a picture of this glowing. And this one is just a white peacock with clear in the middle. And she came out beautiful. And I used um, confetti bands for the end of the feathers and the little top feathers too. So he's pretty easy to make single loom. I'm going to make this one today with this white on the outside too. This one I didn't make the white, but I'm going to make this one with white. So it's going to have a blue body and rainbow on the outside. And I'm also going to use metallic bands. These ones are jelly bands. So you can use whatever colors you want for this design. But I'm going to make the rainbow to show you how to do that one. And if you want to put white here, you can do white or clear. Oh, so many color variations. So let's get started. And I'm going to show you first how to make this part of the peacock and what colors we need. And we'll go from there. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to first show you how to make this part of the peacock, the little feather part. There's going to be six total. And the middle part, the little ball part, is going to be yellow. And I have like a neon yellow and a gold. I have, I'm using metallics in this too. Then the next part of the ring is going to be purple. And I'm using a, like a jelly purple and like a little, um, I think this is deep purple. And then the outside bands, I'm using six total. So I'm using pink, orange, metallic, red. This is like a jelly um, blue. And then metallic blue and metallic green. And then I'm going to tie it all together and use a regular green. This is going to be the same color as your vein. I'm going to call this the vein. So use this as the tying part as the same color as this part. So you can use whatever colors you want. And I'm going to show you how to make two of them right now. I already pre-made four of them. And this would be a really cool pencil topper too. If we just put pencil topper, you know, put them all on one pencil. Take the top green off. Get the red. Place it on that pin. Put that green back on. Okay, and that is your top red. So now we're going to go to orange. Take two orange, place it one from here to here, then the other one from here to here. So it's like an upside down V. Then you're going to take your yellow, same thing. 
Then I'm going to take my green. Same thing. Now I have blue, and it's just going to be a triangle. It's a single triangle. Then my purple single triangle. So this is the layout for half of the peacock feathers in the back. And now we're going to start looming, and we're only grabbing the green on the bottom the um, single twist green. So go underneath all of the feathers in the back, grab that single twist green, bring it up, go slowly, bring it back on there. So it's only that single twist. You can see that? And then we're going to loom only the green. we have one down. So we're going to do the same thing here, only that single twist. And we're looming forward. the middle's done, and now the left side. One more. Okay, so make sure yours looks like this. And now you can keep place your fingers up here. I'm going to slowly take this off the loom. Make sure everything's off because the little feathers get stuck on the little pin bars. That looks so pretty. So I already made four. I'm going to show you how to make two of them. It's your responsibility to make six total, and then you can store it on a pencil or another hook like this one. Okay, so let's get started. And also, in this one, I didn't use any metallics. I just used two yellows for this. So you can, the middle ball part, I'm going to use two bands, so I'm going to use one yellow and one gold. Put it on the hook and wrap it around four times. So this is one, two, three, and four. So it's a ball. Then I'm going to take one of the lighter purple and one of the darker. So this is just two bands again. And this one I used white for the middle part and just the electric blue for the outside. So it's another two bands, and just wrap it twice around. So one and two. So it looks like this. Then I'm going to take one of each color and just place them like this. And that's the blue. Okay, so I have around six of these. So let's count. Yep, six. You can have five. You can have as however big you want your um, feather. Okay, so I have them on the hook. Then I'm going to take my green, which is going to be my vein, and I'm going to place it on the hook and then gently slide this. It's going to be tight on the green in the middle. Then you're going to bring that down, bring it back 
on the hook like that, and this is one feather. And then if you have your purple coming out, you can maneuver the bands so that the yellow comes out a little bit more. Okay, just like that. So I'm going to place it on my hook to store for later. Okay, so I have five right here. I'm going to make another one. Place that right here. So I'm going to take my two yellows, wrap it around the hook four times. Then I'm going to take my purple, wrap it twice so around the yellow, and then I'm going to take the rest of them. And I'm keeping them like in the same order so that they kind of are in the same order on the peacock too. Put them on the hook. Oops, I took my green instead, so let me take the green off. And then I'm going to slide everything on that green. Slide it in the middle. Bring the rest on there. Bring it back on the hook. So it looks like that. They're really pretty. So then I'm going to place it on here so I can use it for later. Okay, so we can uh, rewind this and redo, um, do four more of these. And I'm going to talk more now about the colors I'm choosing and how many for the rainbow part. Okay, so I'm going to have dark blue for the body. And then I'm going to have, I, in the camel pack, there's like a light tan. So I'm having the light tan for the legs and the beak. And that's going to be around eight bands for this. Around eight bands for this. Then I'm going to have a white strip here. So one white, two black for the eyes. And then on the top, I'm going to have three little balls for the um, top feathers. And I'm going to add another little, because this one only has one color here, I'm going to add two colors for this to make it more bigger like this one. So I'm going to have three of the jelly and then three metallic for that part. So, and then the rainbow part. I'm going to use red on the outside. It's going to be four bands of red, then another four bands of orange, then four of the yellow, and then four of the green, then two of the blue, and two of the purple. And that's going to be the inner bands. And I'm going to use regular green for the veins, and that is the peacock. So these are the colors, and if you want to do different colors like these. You can totally do that, but just remind you, the top, the outermost bands are four. And then the inner two are two bands. So you can have those colors. So this is my color layout, and I also have my green on the side. And let's get started. Okay, so we're going to make the out the back of the peacock, the feathers first. And it's pretty easy, and we only have to do like one extension. So we're gonna make one half of it here, and then another half, and it's gonna be tied together. So I'm gonna go through the whole tutorial with you. And first we're gonna do the veins. We're gonna do three veins, and they're gonna be six stitches long, and they're all single bands. I'm using the Rainbow Loom Green. Make sure your bands are um, stretchy because they're going to be a single and then you twist it upon itself and then place it on the loom. And it is in staggered position, arrow facing down. So very important for that. So all of these green are going to be single, twist, and then place it on the loom. 
So make sure yours are stretchy and they're not going to break. So that's two. Here's number three. Number four. Number five. And number six. Okay, so then we're going to do another six 